So we have 120 women who are activist women, who are scholars that are at the conference today. And their goal is to actually push and continue to support the movement that started years ago with their generation. Well, I always thought women's history was going to be one of those things that got wrapped into regular history. But I see now, having studied it, that it really needs to be on its own. We teach our students to look at history through all its complexities, to understand the meanings of history, and to um, interrogate whatever subject it is that they're particularly interested in becomes their research project. And the 50s is also the decade when women are meant to represent uh, you know, the, the peace and quiet, the harmony of home life. But if you're a woman's historian, it takes two seconds to say, oh no, look, this is the decade when women begin flooding into the workforce. This is the decade when divorce begins to rise. This is the decade when the civil rights movement explodes. And women are the crucial part of that. Not just part of it, but the crucial part of it. So then you pause and say, when women's strike emerges in the 1960s, that's a logical step. What they're saying is what they've been living, not what the ideology says they should have been living. So as a historian and as an activist, you as a, as a historian, I look at women's strike and I say, great, you know, these women finally acted on what was really going on in their real lives.